today we're going to learn about how to properly split a cane of semen. And to do that, we're going to find our head embryologist and manager of our semen collection and freezing, Mr. Billy Wade. Okay, now we, uh, we're going to talk about um, how uh, the recommended process that, that uh, the RSG reproduction specialty group uh, wants you to use when you uh, split canes. If you're moving one or two straws, say somebody buys a couple straws, you need to split a cane. Um, take them from one cane and goblet and move them to the next. This is the process we're going to go through. Uh, what we have here is basically it's, it's lit off a styrofoam cooler. Uh, we tried to find something that would be accessible to everybody out there. What you'll need to do is we need to darken the bottom, the bottom of this, this lid so you can see the straws in there. So we've basically we've taken black uh, duct tape and put on the bottom. And so then that gives us a nice dark background so we can see the straws. So already in there, and we've talked about in our other videos also, the, um, one of the major uh, problems that we see with semen handling is too much air time. And that is very detrimental to goat and sheep semen. Uh, they cannot handle the stress of uh, air time like uh, say you know, bull semen can. So everything we do is under liquid nitrogen. Um, so there is no, there's very limited exposure to, to the air. So already in, in my tray here, I have the two goblets that we're going to split the, split the cane into and also my extra cane. So we're going to pull out of their tank the cane that we're going to work with and it goes straight into the liquid nitrogen. And as you can see, there was less than a, probably less than two seconds of air time. So now we're going to take, we'll pull the, either you're going to pull the cane out or you can actually move the straws out that, the number that you need. There's a pair of tweezers here and we'll take, we're just going to take two out of one of the goblets. And we'll add those two straws to the goblet that we want it in. And we would, would prefer that you put the crimped end of the straw into the goblet first. By having the plug end, the cotton plug end out, when you partially remove that straw, that's how the, the writing is laid out on that straw. So you can read it without having to remove the whole straw from the goblet. So it's in our goblet. We use our other forceps to, what I do is I hold one in the middle, then roll it over and pop it in, pop both ends in. And then you will want to, if it's a partial, partial cane, like in this one, I only have two. They always go on the bottom. Put them in the bottom goblet. You want to make sure that there is a goblet in the top that protects those canes. If that tank happens to get tipped over, the uh, straws cannot uh, cannot fall out. So there, like, so everything that we've done is under liquid nitrogen, and it's clear enough. I can read the straws. You can check to make sure that the straws that you want, but it's all under liquid nitrogen. Now we're ready to go back to the tank. And it's a simple process of just lifting up enough to where you can grab the tab, not the cane itself, just the top, right into our tank. It's a very simple. This is, uh, like I said, the, the styrofoam cooler is the easiest thing we found that would be accessible to everybody. So, but this, this is our recommended, uh, recommended process of splitting canes, moving straws. Hey, thanks again for joining us on an insightful video about how to properly split a cane of semen with Mr. Billy Wade. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact us or find us on the web for any additional videos or information. And don't forget to like us on Facebook.